as you, we know is the fish aggregating devices and it's supposed to be aggregating fish to a particular area the advantage of that is that we can place it in strategically in areas where our fishermen can reach so at 6 a.m. yesterday we departed um, up here wolf and we made our way to three sites for fad deployment the three sites were two offshore and one near shore fans and uh, so we deployed one offshore fad um, just off of Abia, and then we made our way to the coast of Del Muela, where we deployed one nearshore fan, and then we went around Polo and on over to Mataibai, which is on um, Sawai, and we deployed our second offshore fan, which was our third fan in total for the day. Um, we made our way back into um, back to Abia Wharf, and we um, arrived at, at Abia at about 5:36 p.m. and we started preparing the boat for today. So we see the pier, the platoon, some of the other people are here. It's I. Yeah, so I took you to the other two. But today for your inga, I made some for you. For the officer, the boy. Yeah, let's go. When we are in favor, then yes. Get slow. Stand by. We put the flag. For today, we had two sites to deploy pads at. Uh, was one offshore and one nearshore pad. So the offshore we deployed at for the far and we just finished deploying the near shore pad at, off the coast of Piula, Filufi and uh, currently we're on our way back into Abiyo. There are many other advantages uh, in terms of looking at sustainability in combating climate change and all these stuff, these things because it, it allows our fishermen to be productive in a time they are stressed, in a time where it's economically difficult for people to get uh, money, get fish. Paula Valer is a person who 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 is yeah, but it's time for you to training for the young for the people. In the Motelisalafa, Elena, Belemo, Mato, yeah, I promise you, I'll, 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 I'll